grave pastors and we managed to take down half of the graves and it probably use some more so the ra zombie is busy trying to steal my son uh, but he's not going to have much luck that cone guy looks to be trouble he's quite near for my liking was a tomb raiser zombie cannot allow him to build more gravestones becomes quite difficult for us so there's two waves we we'll use the cabbage pult of course i wonder if we can use something on the grave buster never really tried it but i don't think can you use plant food on the grave buster i'm not so sure let's try it no nope. does not work or maybe got lost too soon no it does not work okay so now we need to get rid of that guy fast a sandstorm coming the tomb raisers are not really good for us because so like when there are only a few of them coming like they are right now it's not that difficult but later if they start coming higher numbers they could cause problems i like to use the cabbage pulls for most of my plant food attacks at the moment at least because they hit all the opponents so the others do not really do that much cuz the ice bug lettuce when used with plant food freezes all the opponents which is also a useful tool to have but then none of the special attacks compares to what the cabbage pull does so that's why Just in game, that is the best plant food for now. Let's go on next level. This level is a locked coordinate in time. Okay. Must take these plants to win, otherwise you risk distorting reality. Oh my! Never distort reality. You will pull something. Okay. Survive the zombie attacks with the given plants. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully, Penny has some better plants than what Crazy Dave used to give us during the first game. Oh, the twin sunflower. Twin sunflower is here. So is it similar to what we had first game? We just plant those twin sunflowers over the sunflowers. I don't think so. you cannot plant it over them i think you can plant them separately
Okay, so the twin sunflowers grew out 100 sun per hit. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, so the boomerang took its final victim. Luckily for us. So there's no grave buster in this level. I think we should really invest in some walnuts at the moment. Otherwise things are about to get nasty. Of course I'll try to plant them a bit further because I want to plant some more of these bloomerangs. But We should start with some and we haven't really got any plant food either so far. Our first piece of plant food is arriving now and no cabbage pulls either so let's try the twin sunflower let's see what it does okay so it gives us multiple sun so similar to what we had with the regular sunflower that gave us a good amount of sun as well but i think it's better to use the plant food on damaging plants especially that second lane there which seems to have multiple bucket heads Cabbage pool would have been quite useful in this level. Unfortunately, we don't really have an access to it at the moment. Okay, loads of camel zombies coming in. That can't be good. so that's it I guess ah a faro pinata so let's see what awards we get for it three thousand coin P shooters okay some for the repeaters who is not yet here Let's go to the next table. In game ad, I believe. Okay, so we have this coffin zombie who looks to be quite strong hopefully he's not as strong as he looks let's start we'll take the grave buster of course okay, let's take the potato mine instead of the walnut let's see how that works quite a lot of gravestones here
this raw zombie can be a bit irritating especially if he starts stealing sun when we need it when it's crucial but at the moment it's not really that strong of an opponent I think the explorer zombie and also the tomb razor zombie as they call it are quite more difficult customers oh this guy looks powerful Oh my potato mine has not yet activated. Oof. Okay, the first big wave has come in. and that guy here against the bucket head fully my potato mine activates in time did fortunately oof did we just speed up the game wow luckily it was not that dangerous this guy is tough really really tough think he may be as strong as some of the other zombies like the bucket head take care of all of these with cabbage pulls ooh 3 super cabbage pull attacks and that guy just stands there woof and he seems to have gotten faster ah. so we win this level We get a pyramid. So what does the pyramid do? Okay, so Penny gives some information about the pyramid and Dave of course is hungry as always which is what got us into this trouble in the first place uh, so let's see what this pyramid is about Okay, of course, penny reminding it is not a taco salad. Pyramid of Doom, survive level after level of escalating zombie attacks. Test your skills in this endless zone. Okay, so it is an endless zone. Okay. So the plants of the zombies one had an endless zone. It was quite tough. I think every world will have its own zone. That's what I it looks like so we completed something what did we get okay so epic quest uh -huh.
we need to complete day 13 We'll try all of this of course. So right now we are going to day 13. Let's see if we have anything to unlock at the moment. Nope. Survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies. So the last two rows are out of scope for us. We need to plant in front of it. I think just the walnut will be fine here because we need to be on a bit of a defensive considering we are leaving our strongest two columns which is towards the end we cannot use it so we need to make sure our defenses are strong some cabbage pulls at the right time the cannot be taken care of at least not at the moment by our cabbage pull so we need to put something to stop it there Okay, so the grave buster's work is done. Okay, we get a sprout. Okay, we need something in that last lane immediately. We are fast approaching the end of this level. Okay. So final wave has hit. Time to do the cabbage barrage. Some more plant food, and I think this one should be the final one. Okay, we get a new plant bonk choy, it rapidly punches enemies ahead or behind, of course. So we get Faro Pinata, thousand coins, something for the Bong Choi. It's ready to be leveled up already. Okay, some for the Grave Buster as well. Oh. 
let's see if we can upgrade some of our pla newly found plants now Great West and Bong Choi both can be upgraded. So Bong Choi gets quite a few upgrades recharge, toughness, damage, and the duration of the plant food power all increase. Okay. Grave Buster gets tougher and speed increases for a good sum of thousand sun. I'm sorry, thousand coins. So it does not cost any sun, but it definitely cost. Okay, so let's now go on. Let's see what we have next. Okay, something in our Zen garden as well. Let's go on to our Zen garden. See what found a sprout. Yes, we did. Let's plant something. Ah, Amari gold. Just click on it. So the Zen Garden mechanism is different from what we had in the first game. So we get some gems. Just grow it up. We got some coin. Can plant under sprout now. Just water it. And wait for it to grow. Okay, a bee. So it replaces a snail from the first game. And is going away after speeding the plant up. Nope, he he cannot bother to be disturbed. Okay, then I think we better continue on our way as well. Return to the Zen Garden often to earn coins. Okay, cool. Let's start with level 14. Okay, Tomb Razors, and let's see what that zombie is who has a heavy shell. What zombie is this? Pharaoh Zombie. Okay. Second cousin once removed of King Rot. Okay. Hmm. Whole lot of graves. So we need the grave buster here for sure. Ah, I want to try the new Bong Choi. That we got punches enemies ahead or behind, so I think we'll place it in behind a walnut for best effects, and we'll go for the cabbage bolt. We'll replace the bloomerang this time. Bong choy, so it is a melee combat plant. Looks like it. Let's burst some graves. Mm. 
just plant the cabbage poles at least one column of them and then we'll experiment with the bong choy but we'll have to do it fast anyways because that cone head cannot is not an easy enemy to defeat with just one cabbage pull so we'll just do this ooh <laughs> that's like Mike Tyson of the plants okay he hits stone as well so can use him for literally anything oh he's tough as well quite tough good to see oh did we just lose okay so keeping it in front of the right behind the walnut is a the smartest thing to do i think it attacks multiple enemies as well Let's see how it is when using plant food. Oh, it attacks in eight different directions. So, kind of reminds me of the gloom shroom that we had in Plants vs Zombies one. It used to attack in all eight directions. Of course, it could attack at any time, rather than depend on just plant food. But yeah, similar kind of diagonal action. So the bong choy is especially good against the pharaohs because you can see he's literally cracking them open. In a pinch it could be quite useful especially if there are lots of enemies closing in. The rapid action punches of the bong choy could be useful. There's the explorer. Okay. So is this the last? I think yeah, this is the final wave which we just finished. Okay, so now need to unlock the repeater the scoot the zen garden seems like we have something else in store for us in chest for growing marigolds ok boosted plants ok so we plant some sunflower So we get some more sun, some more gems, and we get a boosted plant. Okay, F gets free plant food effect when planted. This boost lasts for one level. Okay, let's try it. Look 
go to level 15 and return to Zen Garden often to boost our plants, of course. There's a plant called on the banana phone, it's an SOS. Visiting plants but don't help, let's take that root and save them, okay. Survive and protect the endangered plants, okay, so we need to protect the sunflowers. And looks like quite some tough zombies. Okay, we take the bullshit sunflower. What else do we get? Okay, cabbage pulled. I like the bong choice, so we'll take it. Grape busters. Yeah, I think we'll stick with the same team like last time. Let's rock. So that was not the plant food effect. I think it only works with the newly planted ones. So I think that's it. Let's plant things up front. Just, just to make sure that we can protect these plants from behind. got quite a bunch of plants there right up front bong choi is taking care of business so our plants at the background can survive ok so we get one more sprout so that big final wave is approaching whoa whole lot of pharaoh zombies not good not good not good at all but luckily we had plant food so the boosted sunflower really helped here because we could plant them while saving sun we get another pharaoh head let's see what we get in return three thousand coins boosted twin sunflowers okay alpha dos lunari v3 thank you for following So we use the sunflower and it disappeared of course and we get a cabbage pulled in its place which will be boosted in the near future. So let's see what else we got. We got something in the travel log. Let's check it out. We collected 40 seed packets so we got some gems for it.
we need to make it to Egypt day 19 okay sunflower of course iceberg lettuce for the explorer grave buster which will destroy the existing graves as well as anything sent in by the tomb raiser cabbage pulled bong choy okay i don't know how good bong choy will be against the explorer but worth a try anyways and we'll take the potato mine this time because it's uh, the walnuts are not going to be very useful against the explorers So the sun is no longer boosted means it just gives out the regular sun now. There are three flags this time. Quite a lot. But I think overall we should make it through. Just comes the explorer. Good thing about the explorer is when he is attacking, the, when he's planting gravestones, he does not attack anybody else. We lost the Bong Choi but also he managed to take out that Conehead as well so overall profit for us. Okay. Here comes the Explorer and Iceberg Lettuce in time to prevent any damage. Second wave is nearing. Okay, so they don't bring any explorer zombies. So I think we we'll use it on the tomb razor, who is the second most powerful enemy. Okay, but now the tomb razor comes in but there is a potato mine there so does not worry me mm, unfortunately managed to plant the grave Final wave goes a bit tamely as well. Uh, 
the Tomb Razor is causing quite some trouble for us. But he's done for. Let's see. Okay. The B is back. Let's get some coins. Level seventy. Okay. Let's see what level seventeen has for us. Never have more than fourteen plants. Okay. We need to make sure that we do not plant way too many plants same time. Okay, so the explorer is here. Can we really take the bong choy? Will it be useful? The single use plants will be better here considering that once they are used they are gone so we will take those plants and then maybe we can still use the bong choy or should I take the bloomerang hmm. let's take the bloomerang for far range attack We'll gra plant 5 sunflower for now and then we'll gradually reduce them and boost them up for the additional sun. That I think is the right approach. We need now. We really need the iceberg lettuce. Uh, probably not need the, it as much. Let's boost some sunflowers and get rid of one of them. Otherwise, we are soon going to find ourselves out of plants big wave is coming so we can get rid of okay, we have enough sun to last us for quite a long time I think we can get rid of all the sunflower of them are gone the explorer is still trying to explore something not really happening okay, we got some kind of trophy ok one more planned food so 
so that means we can now have four get one more Marie Gold oh no hmm, hmm. level 18 seems to be designed like a mini game let's see what it holds okay so the first last stand okay <sighs> makes sense in the crazy day way there will be more last to come okay plan your defense and defeat the zombies of course can't really plant any sun giving plants okay and seems to be that the zero cost plants which we usually use are out of bounds as well I think I'm only going to be using cabbage pools here considering we have 2000 sun that's the only real plant that makes sense maybe the walnuts just take the other plants as a token we need to have six plants so let's rock we have I think this seems to be okay we'll plant the other two cabbage pools once we have enough place So basically just watch as the cabbage pulls do their work we plant some more so three rows of cabbage pulls good enough to take down this army for now and our shield of two walnuts are as good as defense as any at least in this early level okay, but the sandstorms keep sending the enemies closer probably should have gone with the bloomerang but can't say for sure should we use the plant food or let's wait on it until the going really gets tough at the moment while we still have some walnuts left I don't think it's that bad the situation is still in control so 
let's wait for them to take down a few more before you can really you know bring in our big guns using the plant food okay I think that's time now okay we lost a walnut and the final wave is approaching in that first lane there we do not really have anything as far as defense is concerned and we have only those two cauliflowers or is it cabbage yeah it's cabbage cabbage pulls at the moment and we have a whole bunch of sandstorms coming in oh man should we use a power up let's use a power up not that it would be really needed because we still have that lawn mower there but just used it anyways we have plenty of coin so I think it's fine to use power ups once in a while hmm, I probably should have taken a different team though now that I think about it the bloomerang would have been much more useful considering it hits multiple enemies uh, but maybe I can use that strategy next time right now let's just go on with the game ok the next level we get one more in-game ad never have more than 12 plants and survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies ooh double objectives uh, and the enemies are a bit tough with the explorer zombie here and the bucket head as well so let's see if we have managed to boost any plants no it does not look like it We'll take the sunflower of course ok so there are there not seem to be any graves here and no explore zombies so we can leave out the grave buster ok that's our team let's rock like the last time I'll just plant sunflowers and then we'll use plant boosts we now have four plant food slots so that's something good there comes the cone head not good at all explorer zombie makes his presence known we just froze him 
okay the bucket head entering on that last lane there quite the difficult customer Okay, this game is almost about over, but we still have okay. The Bong Choi should be able to take care of this guy. Knocked him dead first, took out his head, and then the zombie goes down. Our molds are jumping as well, and we get a new plant, the repeater from the one of the classic zombies from the plant. So, zombies one era shoots two peas. Something for the Zen Garden. Let's see what we have in the Zen Garden now. A new plant, maybe. P regular pea shooter. And we got something in the travel log as well. Okay, so. We can go to the arena now. Okay, for now, let's get the Faro Pinata for getting the repeater. Ah, 50 coins. This was a miserly one. Hopefully, they give more boost to us. that <sighs> that was not quite up to the mark but anyway it's fine it's not like we were expecting much anyways okay now we can unlock the twin sunflower goes five stages later right before the big boss stage let's I think we have got quite some boosts for the repeater. Let's try it out. Let's see the difference between it and the P shooter. P shooter has level 2. The toughness is similar. But the damage at level 1 is I think it's same. But it shoots 2 P. So in all if I upgrade it. If now right now it does a damage of 40. And if I upgrade it it will do 50. Okay, let's roll towards the next double. Okay, again and then endangered plants. So I don't think we need any more sunflower. These four should be enough. We'll take the repeater. And the cabbage pulled. Bong choy will be useful. So will the walnut. Of course, are two regular guys. Yep. 
I don't think after since we have four sun producing plants already we don't really need any more of them So are these plants going to be producing any sun at all? Hope they are not just for show. Okay, so looks like they do produce sun. That's a good thing. So the repeaters quite powerful their attack the one in the middle lane just gets away but I'm not so worried about that one because there are no nothing there really so we can probably afford to let zombies get away from that lane. Bong Choi Oh boy This is getting tougher ah, it, That's it This level is done Okay, let's go in for what looks to be another mini game. Survive the zombie attacks with the given plants. Okay. Oh boy, lots of gravestones. Ah, we get a melon. A melon pult. Okay. Now we are talking that some seriously heavy damage stuff. And we also get the kernel pult. So we'll plant that at least initially before we upgrade into the melon pults. The kernel pults are quite useful in slowing down opponents. So I want to also use the plant power for both these new plants because I've not used the kernel pult or the 
melon pulled so it will be good to see how their plant power really works Okay, let's try it now okay butter everywhere so that seems about right so slowing down all the opponents the melon pull should be a bit stronger I believe let's try the melon pulled as well Ooh, boom 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 wow destroyed half uh, half the zombies so it destroyed nearly everything that was like a new going off and we'll use it again and again okay those grave took a serious beating we get another trophy so what is this start with 25 extra sun in the bank okay cool so let's go to the next level okay again something similar survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies and never have more than 15 plants okay. this time we have the pharaoh zombie which is quite the tough opponent let's get the sunflower the repeater will be useful against the pharaoh let's go with the bong chair or should we just take the walnut I think let's go with the walnut So few repeaters everywhere. You need that guy right over there. Hopefully our potato mine recharges in time and it does not disappoint. Good for Mr. Potato Mine. Okay, now it's time to get rid of some of the sunflowers.
let's plant a few more of those repeaters so apparently we can plant some more which is good freeze up that bucket head because I not trust even two repeaters will be able to stop it okay the pharaoh definitely needs potato mine to put it down oh but that potato mine is not going to charge up in time unfortunately uh, but it saved us time The final wave is going to be here any moment now. Okay. Okay, that one lane, the final lane is disaster. There are lots of zombies there. Need to buy some time. Need to buy some time. Just plant anything that is really helpful. Okay, that's it. What else? just go on to the next level so the gargantor shows up so this level is going to be tricky then need to make sure we have some strong people. walnuts are not going to be useful because the explorer is here and a gargantor is here it will be helpful against the pharaoh but I think rather take the other plants I haven't even used the repeater's plant power yet, so I'll probably use it on this level. Should we take the bong choy instead of the cabbage pult? Should we even consider the grave buster at all? the repeater could take care of the grave buster let's go with the bong choy instead
okay so if we manage to plant even a lot of repeaters they should be able to take care of those gargantors especially if we are going to be utilizing you know the plant power don't really need any other plants maybe a couple of potato mines so that they can destroy them the first big wave is approaching the only problem with the repeaters is they cannot shoot to graves but other than that they are you know the toughest plants we have at the moment the strongest ones we have to just cause damage first big wave is finished and now we are faced with a sandstorm sandstorm number two can connect so we have now have two lanes full of repeaters and we are going to go for more of them Gargantors may start showing up any time now. Need to be ready for them. Multiple repeaters making short work of the opponents. Okay, so I think this guy giving us some. Oof. so since we were going to get some plant food anyways I thought I might as well utilize some of it here comes the gargantor 